Hello. So I wanted to share a few things that the Lord put in my heart. I'll just read it. If we lack faith, we can pray and ask Jesus to increase it. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Let us cling to his word and promises. Do we love him? Jesus said, if you love me, you'll, you'll obey me. Those who love him follow him, even when it's hard. They take a stand. And here's the prayer. Lord, I cry out to you and share this for those it may also help. Those who seek you and struggle in these dark, dark days. Those who are having a hard time finding the words. May faith arise in them by your grace. Truly, you sustain your own. And we lift one another up in you. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Help those who are hurting and feel alone. Help those who have been betrayed. Strengthen the weak and those at wit's end. Come help those who need help. You are faithful and true. And I love you, Jesus. Amen. You are everything we need. Hallelujah. Come soon. Maranatha, come soon. Amen. And I know these are really, really dark days. Like I wrote on here, I feel it. Let us keep each other in prayer by the power of his spirit and by his grace. If we may stumble, he picks us up. He cleans us up because he knows those who are his. And let everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. And some more verses for comfort. These verses comfort me from Psalm 34. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and he, his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Think about it for a moment. We won't even be able to remember when Jesus takes us from this world, and we, whether by um, the catching away or however he takes us, we won't even be able to remember the wickedness or those who, who were bent on evil or lying. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Verse 17, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite spirit. Nigh is near. The Lord is near unto them that are of a broken heart. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. And that's a prophecy about Jesus. They didn't break his bones. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeems the souls of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have great promises in God and his word to cling to. These are dark days on the earth, and I fully believe the Lord's return is at hand. Our blessed hope, as scripture calls it, Titus 2.13. I'm glad we have this hope. Through all the pain and trials and satanic attacks and witchcraft and weirdness and evil, let us hold on to the blessed hope, which I'm going to read in a moment. Jesus will rule and reign one day very soon, and it and make all tears, fear, and anguish vanish. For the grace of God, Titus 2.11, that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us, from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Praise God. All praise to Jesus, Maranatha. Even so come, Lord Jesus. Even so come. Father, I, I, I trust your protection. I ask and I trust your protection over this video and against all witchcraft from my brothers and sisters. I pray you break all witchcraft at attacks and help us to put on the full armor of God. And we thank you for your healing mercies, your precious blood that washes us clean. Thank you, Jesus. In your name I share. Amen.